Hello everybody. Today I'm going to try something very different. I'm going to revisit my silicone mat. Uh, I put this away. I haven't used it in a while. So it has two, sh two sides. One is a matte frosted side. And then this is the shiny slick side the glossy side i'm going to try using this glossy side with my blacrylic mars black and uh, i'm going to do a little tribute to a very famous american artist Jackson Pollock, and I'm sure his work has been plagiarized over and over and over again countless times, but I thought about it, and I remember in my high school days, I tried to imitate uh, Jackson Pollock's style by dribbling oil paint on canvas it's not as easy as it looks it's uh, it requires a lot of control and a lot of forethought which uh, it's very deceiving it seems to be a very careless and carefree kind of action so I'm going to do some drips and this image will not have a clearly defined edge like i usually do and i'm going to use my brush create some very bold gestures now, um, since there is no clearly defined border, I'm just going to place it within the confines of the registration bars. And let me just put this aside. Here is my sheet of Somerset. Now, even if there are no clearly defined borders, I still want to use the uh, registration bar to find out the center line. Now this is a very different uh, feel from the gel plate because it doesn't give, it doesn't have the same bouncy surface. So I'm feeling more of the hard wooden table underneath the paper. And uh, I'm going to see what the effect will be. Okay, let's 
see what we have here. Very interesting result. Check this out. Pretty cool, I think. They look like racing atoms. And I love the brush strokes. It doesn't show as much brush stroke as a gel plate would, but it does portray the uh, swift action of the brush, very sweeping motions. So I will air dry this and then see if I will put a second layer. Okay, here we are at the second segment. I'm going to do a raw sienna for a second layer. This time I will use white brush Here's the first layer with black. Feels a little different without the squishy sensation of the gel plate. In a way, it feels more secure. It's a very hard printing surface. Let's see what we have. Actually, this time the brush strokes are very clear. I like that. Gives me a little more nerve to continue on to the third layer. So I will clean this off and I will be right back. Okay, for the third layer, I'm going to use chrome orange. 
and I'm going to be a little more generous. Because after all, it is a bigger surface. This is the one with the second layer. going to do an experiment and leave it for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's see what we have. I like that. It's becoming more and more complex of an image. And for some reason, the acrylic behaves more like an ink than a heavy paint. So when I use a brayer on a gel plate, it creates these uh, thick textures like oil paint. This one is very different. It behaves like uh, printer's ink. And I like that. Pretty cool. So since this is a silicone sh sheet, it's fairly easy to clean. especially when I spray it with this solution of detergent. It 
it just wipes right off. In a way, it's even easier to clean than a jelly plate. I think I remember buying this from Amazon for $14.50. Uh, it's really a kitchen, kitchen counter protector. That's what it's designed for. So, uh, it's a very inexpensive uh, substitute if you find jelly plates very expensive. And, and they are, I have to admit. The large format jelly plate is about $120. So, that's a hefty investment uh, if you don't do too much print printmaking. So, for experiments... Uh, this silicone sheet is a nice stand-in, in my opinion. going to do a last layer of teal and only in certain areas This allows me to be as free and, and uh, uninhibited as possible. Now, uh, instead of the sticks, I'm going to use Q-tips. I can find them. Now the Q-tips makes a larger, thicker line. I only wish that this silicone sheet were completely flat, that it's not. Here's the piece with the red.
Let me just wash out. Okay, let's see what we have here. beginning to become more and more complex I think I will stop here because I already have let's see black yellow red blue I have four layers and I will air dry this and then recap Okay, everybody, this has dried nicely and I want to do a recap. Uh, this is one print where there is no defined border. It's just purely free form in keeping with the spirit of Jackson Pollock's work. Um, let me show you a close up. So as you can see, the uh, brush action is very, very strong, very decisive. And the interesting thing is had these uh, paints been painted directly on the paper, it wouldn't turn out like this. You wouldn't be able to see the brush strokes and the scribbles. It's only possible because this is a monoprint. And so um, what you're seeing is really a reverse image of what was put on the, the I call it a plate, the, the silicone sheet. So very interesting uh, result. Uh, it was, needless to say, a lot of fun to do because there were no rules, no borders, no stencils, no collage work, just purely free-form brushwork. So I hope you like this short video uh, of my tribute to American artist Jackson Pollock. And thank you again for watching and subscribing. I'm getting very excited because I am approaching my 5,000th subscriber, which I never, ever dreamed I could uh, ever accomplish. And this is all thanks to you wonderful people and all the wonderful, generous people to, who uh, have given support to my PayPal to keep this channel going. I hope to see you next time.